Now, one of the very interesting types of functions is what is called a friend function, right? A function, a normal function, which doesn't belong to a class, uh, being given special access to the uh, members of the uh, class. Now, such functions are called friend functions. Now, let's, uh, let's uh, write a small program to understand what happens uh, in case of a friend function to indicate the use of friend function okay uh, we'll keep it very simple because our focus is to understand what is um, a friend function so as usual include io stream dot h class my class okay very generic kind of uh, program without any special purpose okay i have got two variables and both are int okay and i have got some public member uh, member functions one of them is void setval int i comma int j okay uh, it's not uh, defined inside the class itself it's going to be defined outside and another one i make it as friend int add my class obj or object okay again this is also not going to be defined inside the class it is going to be defined outside and remember, when we talk of friend functions, it, this doesn't have any uh, anything to do with visibility and all that. Okay. So now, let's come to the first one that is set well. Void my class. Remember scope resolution operator set well int i comma int j. Okay. Now, very simple, what it does is, those i and j, it stores it in a and b. So, a is equal to i and uh, b is equal to j. Uh, very straightforward, nothing, nothing special. Okay, now I come to the uh, other uh, friend function. So, I say add and what it will accept is a object of type my class, right? And what is it supposed to do? It is supposed to add the two numbers that are there in my class object. So, return obj.a plus obj.b. Uh, again, uh, remember normally a function which doesn't belong to a class cannot directly access the data members. Right? Uh, even using uh, this dot operator. If I remove this friend fun friend keyword, if I remove this, this will give me an error because A and B both are private. Since they are private, external functions can't access them directly. But because I have made it as a friend, this function has been made as a friend of this class it gains visibility and it is able to access the data members directly using the dot operator. Okay. Naturally, for it to be able to access these uh, data members, the object has to be passed to add function. Okay. Now, let us come to the main function. Right. So, int main Okay, now my class, remember we have to create a or instantiate a object of type my class. Okay, now let us uh, display the result sum of, I hate constant 
constants because I can't uh, you know test the program using different values. So C out enter two numbers. Okay, so C in doesn't require too much effort, uh, so it's better to uh, x comma y. Oh, sorry, x and then y. Okay, int x comma y. Okay, and here x comma i. So sum of sum of x and i x and y is now i can say object right and end line okay and let's change this to void okay and the end of it it should display get ch so let's add hash include conio dot h okay now let's run it let's run it what happened undefined symbol this should be y run okay 3 and 9 okay sum of 3 and 9 is 12 remember 3 and 9 are two different data members and the addition is an external function okay so this add object this add function is outside the class okay and by using the reference of that object it is able to access the data members directly without going through a function member of uh, a, of the class let's file save source backslash friend okay right and then file window close file quit okay. 